hello and welcome once again. J76NY here. We are back with the Confederates in the historical battles playing the Battle of Alusti. It is February 20th, 1864, Alusti Station, Florida. Uh, we are going into battle uh, roughly even odds here. Uh, it's listed as a Confederate victory. We're playing with Joseph Finnegan in command of Alfred Colquitt and Joseph P. George P. Harrison. We're going to be going up against uh, Truman Seymour, William Barton, Joseph R. Hawley, James Montgomery, and Guy Henry. Uh, reading down at the bottom here, before I started recording, it says, uh, in the early afternoon of February 20th, Seymour's army of some 5,500 5, men was nearing a lusty marching in three columns behind a screen of cavalry. They did not expect to run into strong opposition, but poorly armed and drilled militia. When Finnegan learned of his enemy's approach, he ordered his cavalry forward to skirmish with the Federals and to lure them towards his main line. During the skirmish, Finnegan re ordered more troops forward to reinforce. At the same time, Seymour, believing he was facing only a picket line, ordered forward his infantry while his army was still stretched along the march route. The largest battle in the Civil War fought in Florida was about to begin. That would be the Battle of Alusti. Union Army is approaching Alusti Station in Ocean Pond with strong force of cavalry in the van. The enemy force is at least as strong as ours. The infantry brigades under Colquitt and Harrison are entrenched behind Alusti Creek and ready to repel any federal attacks. Smiths move forward to lure the enemy into attacking our works met heavy resistance, and General Col Colquitt is to move forward and engage the enemy infantry. Seymour's army must not be allowed to move past Alusti. Further reinforcements are not available. The battle must be decided here. So what we have is what we have, which is 5,000 men. We've got Colquitt's brigade, Harrison's brigade. They're about 2,100, 2,000 men. And then we have uh, 650 cavalry, so we are we have a force out in front. Our cavalry is back here. And Harrison, Let's see, I thought it said Colco, it was back there, but whatever. Uh, I do not think I am going to. Leave these guys in the trench and let them come to us. So we are going to move them out to engage the enemy out here. We can set up a line kind of along this area here. I think um, they hold both these objectives, so they more than likely are going to be coming down through here. Um, the rest of this looks like marshes, which I don't think our guys can pass through very quick, so that's something to avoid. Uh, with Colquitt here, we're going to hold him in position. Um, actually, we're going to detach... And we'll detach our cavalry too. I might as well detach everyone while we're at it. Uh, obviously, these guys are going to run into the enemy first. See, we're looking at some pretty small. Say these are companies. Maybe not companies, but. All right, let's start at the clock. One o'clock in the afternoon, so. Um, get our artillery. Have them position right here. Uh, 
In the meantime, let's have everybody just start moving forward. And it kind of looks like that's what they're doing anyway. We will have them come and arrange themselves out here. And we'll get our cavalry have our cavalry come out here like this. Uh, you guys I'm gonna move you individually. Where'd I put the uh, artillery here? Right up here. Uh, let's get these guys moved up on this fence line. I have them hold position right there. We'll send three brigades, or uh, units. We'll send three units over to the fence right there. And we'll have let three come out kind of in these trees. Let's see if they can uh, get some cover, maintain cover up in these trees. Okay. Like everyone's moving. Pretty good. You guys are going real slow. I don't know why they didn't take the road. Maybe a problem. Cavalry is moving forward. We've got sight of the enemy right here. Fortunately, they're going to get to us before we can get into position. Three hundred men in this uh, unit right there. So the Everybody firing at long range. I should be in contact with them now. Got our guns moving into position. I'm not going to hesitate to uh, have my forces fall back a little bit to link up with the stragglers that are taking forever to get up here. Guys are barely moving. But they are moving, so. I guess that's what counts. I don't think any uh, shots have been fired. Keep it, keep it. There we go. Yep, no casualties on either side. There we go. I hear the hear the guns. We are in con contact. Got 380 men firing on them here. Cavalry. 
guys are kind of standing out in the open. Oh, they got a little bit of cover. Have you, have you come up like this? Here, our artillery is opening up on them. The 6th Georgia opening up on them. The 23rd Georgia is firing as well. Cavalry seems to have be having some trouble getting through this field here. of our forces are slowly coming up. It's the cavalry. Okay. These guys to move a double quick. Again, over on this side here. All right, we do have more forces coming in on us here. We've got 750 in this 700, so we are going to be facing a serious disadvantage. Have our cavalry halt and we're going to move them over on this side. Looks like they're kind of stacking up over here. Okay, these guys are still trying to get into position. to face them. Alright, looks like we pushed them off, so we're going to move you guys up a little bit to kind of help out over here. Alright, let's get our cavalry... them up over here like this. Right, these guys are making their way across. Bring our artillery out over here. This brigade change that. I want you to come right up the middle. Once these guys get individually across the bridge, we can... Alright, we're going to have them fall back. to fall back as well. Let's have them open up them. Them open up on them.
they lost half their number. Push up a little bit. guys dismount and we lost a brigade Let's see if we can rally him have you move in here and cover this hole It looks like these guys are stuck in the swamp over here. Get you moved up over here. They're very tired, so they may, may not move very fast. Uh, these guys down here... Tired as well. Let's get them up over here. Uh, guns from this brigade. There they are, right there. Have you come up and hit him? Let's see if we can't finish him off. I hope these guys aren't stuck back here. Kind of sliding in our way here. We've got out even odds here. Cormac's losing men. He's broken. Have you fall back? Hasn't lost any men yet. Let's move you over just a little bit. Alright, we push them out. battery up here
Okay, these guys are still kind of making their way over. These guys are not moving at all. They're exhausted. That's not good. It looks like we have more coming our way. 500 here. Seven hundred here. Slightly higher advantage as far as the uh, casualties go for us. up a little bit. And are up right here. And then have you come over here. This brigade right here. I want you just come up here for now. Evans can act as kind of a reserve. He might actually recover. That would be great. Okay, we've got 250 men coming up from over here. These guys look like they're moving very slowly, but they are moving. You. What are you up to over here? Get you up to the front. Right there, starting to come at us once again over here. Actually, that's the same two that have been there the whole time. The rest of their force hasn't come down yet. Can't even see him up here. Eleven percent, ten point seven. Casualties are about even here. This gun is idle. I think uh, I'm assuming it's because they can't see. So we'll move them into this. Crack over here, they're idle as well. It's not good. Campbell yeah, will get you over here. Hundred and fifty casualties for them. This this guy's the weaker of the two. These are taking fire from the front and their flank. Who's this over here? 700 men. Where are they going? Oh, they're advancing on us now. Alright, he's broke. Okay, let's move up on this here. Oh, here they come. And our cavalry just broke. Awesome. Alright, so let's uh, fall back a little bit. Pull our guns back, actually. Them to fall back. 
fall back. Fall back. You got units that are running low on ammunition. down a little bit, make some room. Alright, he's on stable. Here. Now they got another brigade coming in. The rest of our troops are still making their way over. Might not be a bad idea to think about falling back to this line here and letting them come to us. May have to do that. Sixteen point nine to fourteen. Cause they are starting to stack up, and we are getting kind of low on ammo here. Nine rounds left. Now we're gonna have these guys fall back. Let's form up a line. How's these guys looking here? Here. These guys falling back. All of them. Before they break. Could go south uh, really quick here. Let's get our guns actually pulled back so we don't lose our guns. here. Lost our guns over here. Oh my lord. It's going to be a mess back here. them come to us now. <clears throat> Guns are firing, but... <clears throat> Actually cancel that. I want you over here. Hopefully we can get these other brigades up in time. Don't really look like they're putting a lot of effort into getting up there, though. Quite a lot of casualties. Seven rounds. Eight rounds. <clears throat> we can link up with these three brigades here. If they ever actually get up here, we can probably... I mean, this is starting to slide back the other way, but we could probably turn it around. 20.5%. Bar 18.3, it's pretty close. Gotta start inflicting some casualties here. I think they're starting to push up here and in the center. 
Uh, cavalry. Let's get you up over here. They're firing into them. He's about to lose. He's taking losses. guys get up here ammo is definitely a concern at this point uh, you're you're not gonna fall back and then get, oh, maybe not. Let's uh, get our commander, pull him back a little bit, you know, be a good idea to have him stand out in the open like that. All right, we'll be taken for casualties here. 100, 45, 300. These guys shouldn't last long. I mean, they're taking almost as many casualties as what they have. Five to twenty-two. Got a perk. here. Two in single line. All right, these guys are uh, starting to waver over here. These guys have taken more casualties than what they have left. But they are coming back into the fight. I admire that. These guys are still kind of not really doing very much. Um, I don't want him to break. He's taking slightly less casualties. Have you get up here. are a mess over here. These guys are fresh. Let's bring them up to the front. They're fresh so we can bring them up. Let's 
have you turn and hit him. That didn't take much. Enemy is retreating. There we go. We got a major victory at that. Okay. We got 33 minutes. Uh, make sure we don't do anything too silly here. Because this could still go the other way. We just lost this unit here. It's only got eight rounds left, six rounds. They are still pushing up on us. That's what's kind of surprising here. Henry A. Cannon, you absolutely suck at motivating your men to move. general rally order here, see if we can uh, just make sure we hold on here. Don't really want to lose the major victory. I definitely don't want to lose the battle. Oh, here, where these cavalry come from? Oh, they're actually starting to push on us. And they broke our cavalry. Minor defeat? Seriously? Fuck you. This is ridiculous. I had it. I don't think so. We lost it at the last minute. I should have pulled everyone back. Maybe I could swing it in the next 18 minutes. Just need to start breaking some of these units here. Let's get you to fall back. Give the fallback order. It's gonna give these guys orders to attack. Minor victory now. <laughs> if this guy breaks, we're in trouble. broken. It's going to swing back the other way. I can see it. Alright, how 
is this guy doing? Did he break? No, he didn't actually break. He's coming in to attack this guy. Three minutes left. Wow. For such a small battle, this was kind of a pain in the ass. Wonder what would have happened if I had just left my guys in their defensive works and kind of poked them and then ran. They would have come at me and we could have just sat back and picked them off. They've got less casualties than we do. There we go. Minor Confederate victory, I'll take it. Uh, let's see, we lost 1,945 out of 5,000. They lost 2,100 out of 55. Battle of Alusti is a minor Confederate victory, which we probably just got lucky. Uh, let's take a look at what we have next coming up. I know we're getting down to the end of the uh, series here. Uh, we've got the Wilderness, uh, New Market, Bentonville, and Appomattox. Uh, those four are what we're going to be doing. Um, to close the series out. Oh boy. Uh, wilderness, we're outnumbered by about 40,000. Uh, new market. We're going to be going up uh, 2 to 1. Listed as a Confederate victory. Let's see. Tactically inconclusive. Uh, Bentonville Union victory, and then. Confederate surrender as they're outnumbered three to one at Appomattox, uh, three to one in Bentonville. So things are looking pretty bleak in terms of our chances for success in the next four battles. But we're going to give it 110% and see what we can do. So if you want to follow along through the rest of our playthrough of the historic battles, hit the subscribe button. If you like the episode, uh, hit the like button. Leave your thoughts, tips, and advice in the comment section below. Definitely don't mind hearing from uh, you guys. And we will see you uh, for the Battle of the Wilderness. J76NY saying thank you very much for watching and have yourself a very good day.